one of the hardest types of cancer to treat is brain tumour. So we're here to tell you more about it and what you need to know. Helping me today is Professor David Walker. Hi, Owen. So first of all, what exactly is a brain tumour? Well, Owen, a brain tumour is an abnormal growth of cells within the brain substance. And these growths happen when cells in the brain multiply in an uncontrollable way. There are more than 100 different types of brain tumour and CNS tumour. CNS, the central nervous system, means the whole of the brain and the spinal cord. The brain is a very complex piece of machinery and it's the source of our whole being. Who we are, how we move and how we feel. So if you have a brain tumour, it can cause all sorts of symptoms. Everything from terrible headaches to feeling dizzy or numb to a change in mood or behaviour. Who gets brain tumours? Well, people think that brain tumours are rare, but actually they're quite common. They particularly happen in children and young people because they're a product of the way the brain grows at that age. And the one thing that makes us all grow up is our brain's control of our growth. By the time you're 15, you have a 1 in 1,700 chance of getting a brain tumour. And by the time you're 25, this rises to 1 in 1,000. Are there different types of brain tumours? Yes, there are three groups of tumours that create different symptoms. The first type presents with raised pressure in the head, which gives people headaches and can make them sick. The second type develops in the midline structures of the brain. This is the part of the brain that produces hormones. That's right. How did you know that? Symptoms include problems with vision, with hormone differences where a child may not grow or develop properly. The third type of brain tumour occurs in the surface of the brain called the cortex. That's the front part of the brain. Yes, these can affect movement, perhaps trigger epilepsy, or alter people's mood or behaviour. And how are they exactly treated? Well, the main treatment for brain tumours is surgery to remove it, if it can be done. If the tumour is benign, this can be all the treatment you need. But if the tumour is malignant, or if doctors can't remove all of the tumour, and there's a chance that some cancer cells have been left behind, then radiotherapy is used. Radiotherapy is when something like an X-ray is used to target the cancer cells and zap them. It's a very powerful treatment, so they have to be very careful. And if that is not possible, sometimes chemotherapy is used as well. That's when a special drug is used to kill the cancer cells. Why are brain tumours so hard to treat? They're hard to treat because the brain is very delicate. This makes the surgery very tricky and treatment with radiotherapy can cause damage to the way the brain grows during childhood. The good news is that with modern science and the way we treat brain tumours, it's getting better every day and more and more people are now surviving and being cured. So for children who've got a brain tumour, around 70% of them will be alive after five years. And that's why research in this area is so important. Thanks, Professor Walker. You're welcome, Owen. Thank you very much. That was good. You did well. Better than me.